and today we're going to be showing the seven up method. The seven up method for division is really partial quotients, but I call it seven up because of the big seven that the division house makes. And this is how we structure um, the problem. We take the first number, the dividend, and the dividend goes inside the division house. And the second number, the divisor, goes on the outside. So we're asking ourselves, how many times will 4 fit into 195? Or, if we have 195 things, how many groups of 4 could we make? So the first step that we've been taught is to start with a benchmark list. The benchmark list is going to help us get as close as we can to these numbers. So we have been taught to choose these benchmarks. I picked five and 10 because those are very easy numbers to multiply by. And if you can multiply by five, you can multiply by 50. If you can multiply by 10, you can multiply by 100. And then later, we added these two benchmarks because we found that it was helpful. So some of the kids have been having a hard time remembering what these are, and they are out of our order, but this is the way that we learned them, so I didn't want to switch the order up. We multiply each of these by whatever the divisor is. So in this case, it's four. This benchmark list should only take a few seconds, but it will help us to complete the problem. So if you know four times five, then you know four times 50. If you know four times 10, you know four times 100. And four times two, you will know four times 20. <clears throat> now we ask ourselves, which one of these benchmarks is going to get us close to this number, the dividend, without going over? 200 would be great, but 200 is too much. So it looks like we're going to have to go with 20 so that we can get 80. We did 20 times 4 is 80. Now I'm going to subtract. I'm left with 115. Again, I'm going to ask myself, which one of these benchmarks gets me close without going over? We can use 20 again. 20 times 4 is 80. And we subtract again. Now we're 35. We can't use 80 again, but it looks like we could use this one, 5. 5 times 4 gets us 20. And we subtract again. 15, if I use my benchmarks, I can go for two because two times four will give me eight. I'm left with seven. There are no numbers on my benchmark that are less than seven. So I have to think to myself, four times one is four, four times two is eight, and eight is too much. So I've only got one group of four left. When I subtract, I have three. When my leftovers are less than my divisor, I am finished. If I only have three, I cannot make another group of four, so I'm finished with the problem. These are all of my partial quotients, and when I add them together, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, and tell what I have left over, I have an answer. 48, remainder, 3.